What's up, y'all? What's up? What's happening? What's good in the hood? Happy Tuesday. You're doing okay? Feeling all right? I got the DJ vibes going on. Y'all remember that? Back in the day, the dedication line. Y'all know about the dedication line? Do y'all know about the dedication? Did y'all have a dedication line in y'all town? We had a radio station, the dedication line. <laughs> you could dedicate to the girl you like or dedicate to, you know, the, the guy you like. Dedicate. I want to dedicate um, new edition song, um, whatever, or what's that group called? Uh, Ready for the World. I want to dedicate that to a girl out there over at so-and-so-and-so-and-so. Y'all remember the dedication line? I don't remember the dedication line. <laughs> dedication, dedication line. What's up, y'all? I can't see y'all. I can't see y'all. I see, I see you peeking. I see you peeking. Oh, I can't see you. I see you over there. You had your playlist there. <laughs> That's right. You had you had the special little playlist. Y'all remember? What's up? What's up, Loretta? What's up? What's up, Miss Tom? Y'all remember dedication line? Let me dedicate to Derek. I saw you at the skating ring. You had your towel, your white towel in the back. You was looking fine. <laughs> this song by Ready for the World is dedicated to you. Quiet storm, Loretta. That's I knew. I knew Loretta did. <laughs> magic. There you go, Janelle. With magic 102. Quiet storm. What's your girl? Kelly. Tonight. Tonight. Who you dedicating, Sandra? Sandra. Dedicating to that fine Sandra. I saw her at the at the skating rink. <laughs> you remember? <laughs> Over on uh, IG, Missy Peel said, I remember. Yeah, yeah. This is a dedication line. Dedication line. We had that, y'all. We had, I remember. <laughs> this is so not funny. But I remember I was with, I was with, um, I think it was my daughter's father, actually. We was chilling. <laughs> chilling the dedication line came on and my name came on from a guy Ooh, we i was smiling i liked it though <laughs> he didn't but that thing was fun to me this dedication is to kelly kelly this is from so-and-so i'm like oh your arch enemy brother <laughs> what's up y'all what's up what's up Y'all doing all right? Have a good weekend. Good week. Good start to the week. Right? Hopefully so. Hopefully so. Hopefully so. Oh, let's see. We got a lot going on. Y'all. Got a lot going on. Got a lot going on. <laughs> Loretta laughing. Just tell him Kelly is a comment. Oh, see, I needed you. 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 I need- it was the person... It was the person that said it. There was already some conflict there. Because <laughs> your girl was, you know, you know, it was some conflict there already. So you're like, who, who was that? Who, I mean, I can't make nobody not, you know, dedicate. <laughs> you like it, Janelle? DJ Kelly in the Quiet Storm, 103, 105, 105.7. It messed up a lot of relationships, that's for sure. That's what I like. I like what um I like what S. Tom said though. I should have used that. All right, y'all. Listen, a couple announcements first. Let me let me cut the music and then we'll get into our topic. Y'all doing okay though? Glad to see y'all. Glad to see you. Glad you're doing okay. So I know the um IG. Come on over to, um, where are we at, y'all? YouTube. I am Kelly Jackson. Just search I am Kelly Jackson. We're over here because I'm going to be sharing my screen in a second. And I want you I don't want you to miss it. I don't want y'all to miss it. Come on over and say, hey, I'm here. So we can love on you and welcome you, okay? So come on over. I'm going to give you a second. When you get over here to YouTube, make sure you subscribe and then say, hey, I'm here. Um, so our community, our Discord. I know. you like, what the heck happened? I know. I feel you. I'm with you. So on Thursday... We had an event. This is our, for those that don't know, we have a private secret society community. It's on a Discord server, right? And so on Thursday, we were going to talk about, I shared with y'all last week that we had a little mishap. 
So I just wanted to get some input from the community on what our next steps should be in terms of, or from a safety perspective, right? And so my thought was, you know, I'm going to ramble on people, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> can't do that. So I'm like, let me just get y'all, y'all keep me calm. So great conversation. Um, Camille was there. Stacy was there. John was there. Had a great conversation. This was on Thursday. And it's like, let's not shut it down, right? One monkey don't stop no show. We not one apple don't, you know, and I'm all for that, right? I just want to keep y'all safe. What I forgot, though, <laughs> is remember I said that I had talked to support prior to even having the conversation on Thursday. But remember last week, I was like, I talked to support and they told me to do the things. I forgot that they put a little, they clicked a button for me to, I guess, to, I don't know, to rope it off or cage it off, whatever. Lo and behold, to me, y'all can't see it. I still see it. So it's not gone. First, let me say that as an announcement. It's not gone. It's still there. Y'all just can't see it. So I'm still going to put some safety safeguards in place, and then we will continue on, right? Now, I did say on Thursday in our conversation, and again, watch last week if you wonder what the heck I'm talking about. I think I, there's a little snippet in there. But I did um, offer up a suggestion that we get back into the Facebook group. One, because I know Facebook is not going to get down like that. Anybody that come in there start to harass or whatever, it's an easy thing to shut down, right? But then the reason why I was kind of making that switch is because some people weren't on Facebook. But at the end of the day, you can't please everybody, all that, right? So I just wanted to give you that update. I will send out an email um, to share that. But I did I didn't, I want you to know, I got some emails. I saw your emails. I, I, I saw your emails. I just wanted to um, figure it out myself. What happened? <laughs> why y'all couldn't see it? So that's why, okay? Um, okay. Now, let's get into tonight's topic. We're talking about, this came as a result of a, and I'm going to share it with you, a post, a poll actually on LinkedIn. And they were talking about resumes. But here's, before we get started, here's what I want to make sure, you all, this is what I want to make sure that we do. And if you've been rocking with me for the past three years, you already know we have these conversations quite frequently. When I start started online and I came out and, 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 and start talking about careers and all the things, the one thing that I say constantly, and y'all back me up for my OGs in here, is for me, getting online and talking about uh, from a recruiter's perspective and from a corporate recruiter's perspective, the, the reason why I came out here in the first place was because there were some fibs being told uh, during the pandemic, right? And because there wasn't a recruiter out here talking about what really, really, really goes down. And I don't mind sharing that. But I also wanted to talk about changing the way you think about your career, right? Whether it's the hiring process, how you interview, your resume, your digital presence, your communication, all the things. I'm going to always come from the perspective of opening your mind and thinking differently. And the reason for that is because as we change, as the world change, so does the workforce, so does the workplace. And I know that one of the things that's really hard, myself included, to do is to unlearn what we've known for almost a hundred, for a century in terms of how we get a job and how we interact with our management and leadership team and how we don't ask for raises. And is it, is it okay to talk to a recruiter? And I still get questions. Is it okay if I reach out to a recruiter? And I had to understand that because I'm in that position where on the other side, people think that you can't do those things. And so when I start talking about it, it's like, okay, I want you to change your mind. It's just a person. They just the person. You know what I mean? And so I've always talked from that, that, that point of view. And so I wanted to not put my point of view on you, but just to start thinking differently, because I know that 90% of this game starts here. That's with life. I had to learn that over these past few years. But if you can get this changed and unlearn some things 90% of it is, 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 is um, you can get whatever you want, right? We go to work, right? And I'm going to segue right into our topic tonight. We go to work because we need money, right? Let's just like call it what it is. If we didn't have to, we wouldn't go. 
Can we just keep it real? Is that all right? Is that all right? Businesses get started because they want to make a profit. They want to make revenue. Right? That's the thing. That's where they get started. You don't get into business because this is, this is going to be, this is just going to be fun. Right? I made that mistake. <laughs> right? We go to work because we want that paycheck. We want our compensation. We want to make money so we can do the things, live the lifestyle, take care of our kids, our family. Some of us now have aging parents and we have to now really look at our funds and look at the things that we're doing with our money. We go to work to get the money. People run, have business to get a profit and make revenue. Are we, is, are, is that true? Do we agree with that? Right? So talking about money has always been taboo. Think about it. We still, right? People, when, when we talk about, here's what you say when you have a compensation conversation, you bring your data, you see what the industry is doing, you see what the market is paying, you look at other companies, you look at competitors, you share your value, you share your worth, you go in, you schedule a meeting. We talked about these things, right? But for some reason, talking about money is taboo. We don't want to talk about it. It's, 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 we just don't, we didn't, some of us didn't talk about it in our homes. Right? We didn't talk about the money. It's weird to say, hey, 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 Janelle, how much you make? That ain't not your business, right? Hey, Loretta, how much you make? But they're starting to do that. They're starting to have that salary transparency in those conversations. There's about how many states now that have to tell you what they make, right? I'm saying all this to show and to share the evolution of the workplace and the conversations that's happening in the workplace. So tonight, when we're talking about resumes, I'm going to challenge you to open your mind to just how things are done and how things are changing. Because whether you make a change or not, things are going to change. Things are changing, whether you do or not. They're going to change. On Sunday, there was a story told at church and it was talking about, y'all remember the Chilean miners that got stuck in the mine? This was in 2010. The context for which they used it at church is a different form of what I'm about to share. And then we're going to jump into the story. But they, they painted the picture of the Chilean miners that were inside of the cave. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember that story? I was so invested in that story right? But they were down there in the mine, right? And so I think they were down there for 30 days. Y'all remember that? It was all over the news, everywhere. They were in there and they were stuck, right? And so what happened over time, they had um, a fast forward. And so we down here, we stuck, right? It's been, what, eight days? And I'm making some of this up. I don't know the whole story. Nine days. It's been 10 days. We down here, y'all. So we, we got to figure this out, Right? We got a little bit of food because we didn't plan on being down here. We just came to work and this is what happened. We got some water because we're working in the mine. And everybody got their little water. So we got to ration that out. We can live without the food. We can't live without the water. Right? So somebody stood up to be the leader and say, okay, you're going to have a drink here. Maybe you take a drink in the afternoon. You take a drink in the, in the, in the, in the evening. Maybe you in the morning. And we're going to set up here. And you take this and you hold this. And we're going to put the water here. We got to ration it out because we know we can do this for 40 days. So they down here doing this. But at the top, at the top, they had the news people there. The families were there. They had tents there. They had school there. They had prayer there. They had meetings there. They had people working there. Everything was going on at the top. But they down here thinking, you know, we got to survive. We, we got to make it. We got to make it. We got to survive. We got to make this work. And that's how. That's how some of us are when we go to work because we, we, we in survival mode. We're going to work and we're doing a thing and we just got to make it because I got to pay my bills and Christmas coming up. I got to get the toys. I got to get a gift. Oh, I got to get a gift for Charlie. And I got to get, I got to make sure I'm doing the overtime and I got to work and I got to make sure that I got to get this done. I got to get this fixed. And I know that when I go to work, I got to be on time because I can't lose my job right now. I got to get in this 401k. I got to have my health insurance. I got to remember that I have to invest here in my 401k. I got to make sure I have money for retirement. We're doing all the things. Now, when they were drilling, one of the people that were drilling the bit that came out when he pulled it out at the end, at the tip of the of the, of the bit, it was a piece of paper. On that piece of paper that was tied to a rock with tape, it said, we're still alive. So they was doing everything down there. We're going to make it. 
we're going to make it. We're going to be here. We're going to make it, right? I'm taking the lead. I'm, you, get, you get a little bit of water. You take a sip. Okay, here. You take some. Here. You take some. That's enough for today, right? This is how we do. But they sent a note to say, we still here. We still alive. And what I want to share with y'all today is you're still here. You're still here. If you hate your job, if you don't like what you do, if you know you should be making more money, you know by now you should be making six figures. You're still here for a reason. So I want you to think about today, am I in survival mode? Am I just doing the things with my head down, just trying to make it day by day by day by day? Am I just surviving or am I thriving? All right, let's go. Let's take a look at this poll. This is a poll. We don't have a we don't have a a, a, a thing tonight. IG, come on over to uh, Instagram. I'm gonna cut you off, okay? Come on over to Instagram, and I'll see you over there in a second, okay? Okay, we're gonna look at this poll. This was on LinkedIn. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let me share my screen. Y'all, all right? We're talking about thriving in 2024. We're not here to just survive. We're not here for, we're not here for, we're not gonna do it, y'all. Let me just do this. Okay, here's the poll. Actually, let's do, let's go through the article. I can't see y'all, but y'all, y'all can see me. We'll go to the poll in a second. So when I put the put the put the the the, the, the topic out, I said, you know, is resumes the evolution of the resumes? Are they dead? Now, this came out. You see it. You see it right here, right? This was on Friday, November 10th, 2023 at 1.13 a.m. This ain't something Kelly made up. This ain't something that, you know, I think going to happen. We talked about this four days ago. Four days ago. So, Sophie, Sophie says, and I'm not going to read the whole thing, but we're going to kick this off. More often than not, the first step of a job application is submitting your resume. That's your basic person details, education, job experience, and perhaps a section of volunteering, volunteer work, personal interests, or skills. But only if those fit on the 1A4 sheet of paper, then that is traditionally the limit for a resume. Slowly but surely, though, this looks to be changing as employers are realizing a college degree and related internships don't always mean they found the right candidate. Now, you all know we talk a lot about skills. We just talked about it two weeks ago when we looked at LinkedIn. I think we looked at Eddie's LinkedIn and I shared with you how to reorder your skills, what to put at the top. I shared with you how, how recruiters look for candidates. I talked to you about at work when they're doing the high potential. We had a whole conversation on high potential employees at your job. There is a list in HR where they consider some people at work high potentials and it's based off of the value they bring, the value encompasses your skills. There's a trend towards skills-based hiring. This, this trend has been accelerating in recent months as businesses are battling with tight labor markets, economic pressures, and high expectations from prospective employees. So let's break these things down. Tight labor markets. We took a look. You all remember a few weeks ago, we looked to see what companies are doing right now. Who are they hiring right now? Who are they keeping? Who are they retaining? There's been a lot of people. I talked to several of them this week, as a matter of fact, that's received severance agreement. Didn't see it coming. Tight labor markets, economic pressures. We saw the stock market. We're rallying right now, right? We saw it go down a few months back. They're having a ball right now in, in uh, the stock market. Higher expectation from ex pros <laughs> prospective employees, not job applicants, not candidates, but prospective employees. Is that one of y'all? Is that you? Is that you? Do you have higher expectations from your employer? Because they're feeling the pressure from their employees. Are you putting the pressure on? In June, LinkedIn data shared with CNBC. This article is from CNBC.com. 
it suggested around 45%, almost half of companies have specifically used skills related data to source new talent over the previous year. A number that appears to have increased. So what this is saying is that LinkedIn, they're the number one, they're the go-to for all employers. Give me some data. What is the market saying? What's happening in the marketplace right now? Well, this is what we have gathered. This is what we've captured. We've captured that 45% of all the companies, we all saw that they just reached a billion members, right? So they're the go-to. They are specifically using skill-related data. More than 50% of hire, hirers on LinkedIn now explicitly, check that word out, explicitly use skills data to fill their roles. If you've been with me, y'all know this. This should not be new. There should not be a LinkedIn profile, a resume that is not based off skills, right? Now explicitly use skills data to fill their roles and LinkedIn members have added more than 500 million skills to their profiles over the last 12 months. The impact for both companies and applicants could be immense as skills-based hiring expands who can apply for open positions. Uh-oh, they're talking about who can apply. So is it that if, if I wanted to apply, what I got to do? Now I got to pass a test or assessment or something to even qualify to apply? What are we talking about? Giving employers more choice of candidates and job seekers more, more choice of opportunities. So that means the pool isn't as big for those seeking new opportunities because they are could be immense as skills-based hiring expands. LinkedIn's research finds that a skills-first approach can add up to 20 times more eligible workers to employer talent pools and increase the proportion of women in the talent pools by 24% in industries where women are under, underrepresented. So this is really talking about the skills and how in the last 12 months, they did the data. This is what they're coming up with. Let's talk about these resumes. So, But one thing is clear to experts. Resumes of the future will look nothing like they do now. That includes both their content and look. Uh, this is somebody from Deloitte. This is what they told CNBC. They will include more details that bring candidates to life. Who's been talking about this? such as their skills, their impact, their personality. What purpose are they, are they trying to achieve? What's important to them? Now, this article was written when, y'all? Four days ago. We've been talking about this for the past four years. I mean, three years. There is no reason that anybody in this community should not be prepared for this. Right? Right? Strict layout rules are also disappearing quickly. The format of the traditional resume, which leads with a chrono chronology, <laughs> chronology, chronology, <laughs> I can say it, okay, of education <laughs> titles is late. Chronology, I'm going to be mad at myself, of education titles, job descriptions, <laughs> and years of experience in other resume Rules of the road, check it out, hear me, hear me. Rules of the road are fading away. Chronology. Okay, I wasn't going, I wasn't, I, I wasn't going to let that go. Okay, let's say it again. The format of the traditional resume, which leads with a chronology of education, titles, job descriptions, and years of experience in other resume. Rules of the road are fading away. I want y'all to hear this now. This was written four days ago. Having a perfect resume also no longer means as much to employers as it, uh, as it has done in the past. The emergence of ChatGPT and other AI-based tools have made having a strong resume easier, which means they are less valuable and informative to employers. 
Your resume has to be perfect, but no longer will it be sufficient. Mm -mm. So if resumes won't look or read like resumes anymore, could they be replaced altogether? At least evolving into what, at least evolving into what he calls, this is Deloitte's Rizzo, digital dossiers. I love that name. I don't know why. It just seems so posh. Digital dossier. Those would be portable, linked to industry or domain credentials, and can be easily uploaded into a job pairing engine, he said. Again, if you've been in here, this is not new news, and you already prepared for this. You're already ready because it's happening. A digital dossier. Pull up from ZipRecruiter foresees a similar development. So they agree. There will be ever more digital analogs like online job seeker profiles, incorporating online degree and credential verification skill endorsements and recommendations, video elevator pitches. Links to multimedia products. I ain't going to say it no more. I ain't going to say it no more because I, 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 I'm not going to say it no more. As traditional resumes become less relevant to employers, a new form of screening process as part of job applications may also emerge, experts say. So I'm not going to read the whole thing. Let me see what y'all are saying. What do y'all think about this? We could see some interesting evolutions that include a shift away from listing jobs held to emphasizing skills acquired and demonstrating those skills through a greater array of initial screenings that include gamified assessments or simulations, a real-time problem-solving activities that translate more direct directly to the relevant work situations the individual will encounter. So you could get out. It's almost like people that's going, um, you think about people going into the military, for my military folks out there, when they go to boot camp and they practice the drills or a fireman, they practice the, you know, burning down the house and lifting up the heavy rope and climbing the ladders, right? You may have to go through a drill. Let me see what y'all saying. What we think about this, y'all, what we think about it? Because we talk about it all the time. We talk about it all the time. This ain't new news. This is the preparation, right? That I'm always screaming about. That way it won't hit you. If something pop off, you ready, right? They said multimedia. They said profiles. What do we think about that? Janelle said definitely no. Hey, Camille, what's up, girl? What's up? You like it? You like it, Camille? So skill-based. So what you bring to the table, right? So with me, hey, Susan Q, uh, and, I, and before you all came, you guys can see the beginning. I talked about the Discord because I know I saw your email, Susan Q, I, and uh, Camille. I talked about it early on. That's it. You get, you're, you're prepared, right? And that's, that's just the, that's, that's all it takes is just being prepared. This isn't something that's going to happen that they're just talking about. It's happening. And you may not even be looking, right? That's okay. Even inside of your job, they're, they're, they have tools now on LinkedIn. And I know we still have to do a session on LinkedIn. They have tools now on LinkedIn for your employer that your employer pays for, right? For their talent acquisition and their HR team to take a look and see who's in their organization with these skills. How else do they determine who has the skills, y'all? How else do they determine in the in the class? There used to be something called Yammer. Any of my old school folks, y'all remember Yammer? They tried it in corporate America, <coughs> right? How else can they determine who's in their company that has this skill? We just saw that they said that it's tight right now. The labor market is tight. They said the economic volatility, right? They thinking about their bottom line. We got to get somebody already in here. Who's got the skills? Who's got the talent? Who can we train? Who can we skill up? Who's got the relevant skills? Who has the capability to learn this? If they don't know it, can Janelle learn this? She has the capability. Has she shown that whatever we give her, she can do it, whether or not she knows it or not? Can she learn the software? Can she learn the tools? She's been great. She's been taking initiative. She already knew how to do. She know people saw, but she learned people saw. It was easy for her because she's already in the database. Does she have the capability 
to learn the tools. We invest in her to say, you know what? We got this project coming. In 2024, there's a lot happening. We're going to have to get a little leaner. We talked last week, y'all remember we talked about the earnings call and all the companies said what? They were losing money just because they're not telling you. That don't mean something ain't happening in the background. Just like those miners we talked about earlier. They didn't know what people were searching for him. They was just getting things together down here. They couldn't see. They couldn't hear the, all the people, the, the things, right? Just because you don't see it happening, that don't mean it ain't happening. That don't mean it's not happening. Do you know how to negotiate? If you get in a situation, you have a severance agreement. Do you know how to negotiate? Do you know that you don't have to sign it? Do you know you can negotiate them giving you, oh, I give you a change agent for six months as part of the deal. Now I want that. I want my money. Pay me. I, I don't want that. That's This is what I want. This is about being prepared. This ain't, this ain't comfortable. This ain't cute. This ain't the sexy stuff. But if you're prepared, it doesn't have to sting as bad. Right? So how do we feel about the resumes going away? What are they, what are gonna, what are they gonna look for then? That, that makes us think. Remember, we, at the top of this, we talked about opening up our minds. Well, well, how are they gonna determine, Kelly? How are they gonna determine? How, how are they gonna how? How they know if, if me and Tom and me and Tom going for the sales director role, how they going to know between me and Tom if I don't send a resume? They're going to look at Tom's LinkedIn. They're going to look at mine. They're going to see, well, Kelly don't talk about sales. Her, her first skill on there is, is, is Microsoft Word. Tom been in sales for 30 years. He didn't show his, his quotas. He showed how many, any, how many sales, how much money he's, he's made. He showed... He's showing uh, the companies he's worked for. He shows his OTEs, his, his earnings and all the things, right? How are they going to determine? Well, we're going to call Tom in. We're going to put him on the phones. We're going to see how many sales. Sell this pen. Sell this glass case, Tom. They just showed. They just talked about simulations. Derek says they're late to the party. They can have their YouTube university or chat GPT. We'd rather have our... <laughs> Tom said, I like the concepts, need to adjust my approach. What's up, girl? Southern girl, I heard this first from you. I'm in boot camp now trying to skill up now, as you told us. I love it. Francine, Francine, the older generation is going to find this change difficult. Let me, let me, let me, let me do this right now. Let me do this right now. Uh, let me do this right now. Because this right here, Cat Williams, this right here. This is the truth with an F, Crystal. With an F, where Crystal at? This is the truth right here, y'all. This is why, right? When we come together week by week, and I'm not just saying it's just me, but if you're if you're if you're out here and you're listening, you're getting information that's valuable and useful, and someone actually benefiting you instead of just putting it in here and then putting it to the side until next to, and put it in here, and then put it down. You have to, I put this on threads the other day. I put two things on threads. I said, success isn't normal. Because if it was, everybody would be successful. The only the other thing I said is that we got enough information. It's time to execute. Tom was on there. That's all, that's what I said. We got enough info, y'all. We got enough info. Come on. <laughs> like, we are infoed out. The problem is we don't implement, we don't execute. We get the good. Oh, that's good. Kelly, that was so good. That was so good. I love the, I love the compliments. Don't get me wrong. They make me feel real good, but you know what make me feel even better? When y'all say, Kelly, I took the course or like, um, Ange said, you know what? I'm in, I'm reskilling right now. Because the stuff that I'm reading and I'm learning, y'all, it's not, it's not pretty. And I won't even be able to do it on the live because I'll get emotional. I'm going to have to do a YouTube video. Y'all make sure, like the video, by the way, if y'all like this. But make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit that bell. And I have to do it before this year is over. But I got to tell y'all some stuff. And it's not pretty. It's not pretty. Especially if you're African American. But I'm going to talk about it. I'm, I'm taking my time with it because it's that important, but I won't be able to do it on a live because I know I'll get emotional because I know that there's people that do not execute. I know there's people that want things, that want success, that say a lot of 
stuff. And this time next year, they'll be saying the same stuff. 2025, they'll be saying the same stuff. Y'all, we're not going to look the same. And I share stuff like this and I share it. And I think, you know, I was talking to God about this and I'm like, I don't want to be the person online talking doom and gloom. Y'all know what I'm saying. We hear that. And I don't want to be the person that's telling people, if you don't do this, then if you don't spend your money on this, and we got to make the money first. Let's make the money first before you tell me what to spend it on. Right. I don't want to be that person talking about if you don't do this, then this going to no. Let me let me let's get prepared. So so if it pop off, it's going to hurt. It's going to sting. It's going to be maybe a bad. But at least you got tools, just like Ange was saying. I'm I'm in boot camp right now. I'm skilling up. I may not even know what the next look like for me, but I am going to be prepared. They don't put them me and my military guys and girls out there. A happy, happy. Uh, what was it, y'all? They just passed. Happy Veterans Day for those who are out there. They don't put my dad didn't go through all that. He was at Camp Lejeune and drunk the water and all that. He didn't go through all that to get out there and get shot up. He was in prison and all of that. He had to go through a boot camp first. Because it's a mentality thing also. Just like us, y'all. When I'm at work and I was sitting in that cube and it was like my heart started palpitating. I never felt nothing like that before. I never felt like that. So now I can talk to you. I I don't have to front. I don't have to flex. I don't have to cap. I can say, I know how you feel because I was there. It happened to me. And that's the minute I had to go. So I know exactly how you feel. I can cry. Some of y'all, we cry together together when we're talking. Because it's toxic for some places. And you don't know what to do. And so I can share what to do because I did it. And I ain't here to say, oh, it was easy. It was a breeze. And this, no, that's not, it's hard. Kelly, I'm scared to go ask for a raise. I've never done it before. I've never had a conversation. Here is the steps to do it. Have the data, have the market information, have the thing, just do it. Even scared, just at least what you're going to walk out of there with is, I know where I stand right now. I know where I stand. Think so much of yourself that you're just not like, you know, in that mind, in that, in that, just doing the thing and just surviving. Not again, not another year, y'all. Not another one doing the same thing. Having these hopes and dreams and praying, God going to do something. God is going to, I know he going to, he going to drop. He not going to drop it out the sky. I'm here to tell you, we, we got that kind of relationship. It's not happening. Without the works, He said, it's dead. You got to do something. You got to do something. Scared and all. And just on here, my client, in the comments. Still moving. It, It was uncomfortable. When I tell you, she attracted what she's getting right now. Because she didn't let fear stop her. And it didn't feel comfortable. It didn't feel comfortable. And sometimes, y'all, we got to go and not even know. When I left Illinois, I had $85 in my pocket. Y'all know how long the ride is from Illinois to Georgia? It's 12 hours. But by the grace of God, I didn't know what I was coming into. I had no idea. I could not have pictured this for my life, but I did it scared. I've always been that way because I'm built for this. I am going to get the most out of this life as much as I can. And I'm not going to let nobody or no one stop me. It ain't happening. That's how I want you to feel about yourself, scared and all. Even if you don't know, that's no excuse not to go for what you want. Is no excuse. Don't let 2024 be the same. Make it be different. Make it be different. This evolution of the resumes that's happening, you can go to ChatGPT. It will create you a beautiful resume. It will do those things. But you have to know that companies know this too. For those of you all, when we did in August, if you're new to me, go to the playlist on YouTube. The month of August, we talked about AI. And there was a question that was asked. We went through Indeed, right? Applied to a job. 
Before we submit the button to apply for a job, it was a little paragraph. Y'all remember this, right? And it said, by the way, would you opt in so we can see your relevancy score? Y'all remember that? We use an AI tool to check your relevance. It's good. Go ahead, send your resume. But by the way, we use this AI tool to check your relevancy. Y'all remember that, right? It's changing, y'all. It's, it's, it's changing. Don't be down in the, in the mind, just surviving. Whatever you want. When I put on threads, success is not normal. Stacy's success doesn't look like my success. Linson's success doesn't look like my success. When I told y'all the story that I used to watch on TV, uh, Bob Newhart and Mary Tyler Moore and Dick Van Dyke, and I dream, it was a dream. I think, um, John or Jay Rich said, he said it so perfectly. He said working in corporate was a, was a, was a, that was a dream. That was an accomplishment. I would, that was a real dream. I know it's funny, it's calm, but I'm not kidding. I'm like, man, I wish I could, I wish I could do that. Man. And when it, when it happened, that was success for me. So it was foreign when I was in companies and my coworkers were, we're climbing a ladder and that was, I was like, no, nah, they thought I was just trying to be, you know, humble. And I, I really didn't want it. I didn't. My success was realized. Linton may say, you know what? I want to put my grandkids through. I don't want them to worry. I don't want them to come out of college with no debt because I had to do that. I want them to know what it is to have 25K in the bank and they can start their lives like I couldn't do. So I need to get a million dollars. It's not impossible, y'all. But whatever success looks like, that means you got to do something for it to happen. Y'all with me? So if resumes are changing, what does that tell us? If they're evolving, and I'm going to show you something else in a second. And I want y'all to go back if you can. I want y'all to read all of these. It's over 100. Com I commented. I can't, couldn't find mine. But I'm going to show you this in a second. It's such a good, it's so many great, it really... I wait. <laughs> it, it just it shows you how people think in the in the, the the division, the acceptance, the denial. It is a really good picture of where we are. It's a really, and I'm gonna show you in a second. But I do this because I I, I just just if this can change, that's all, y'all. And I had to learn this too. There's so much we have to unlearn. And here's the thing, y'all. Most of us, we the same age. And just like Francine was saying, it's just we are really stuck in our ways. I'm guilty. I'll be the first to say. And I'm jaded because some of my experiences, I'm still mad about some stuff that happened about 10 years ago <laughs> in corporate. Right? I'm still, you know, I can still put that little team like, ooh. <laughs> if I'm being honest, if I'm being honest. Right. Listen, says some companies are doing leadership mentor programs. I love that. I love that. Tom said, I hear you. Derek said, if everything is changing, we have to change as well. That's right. Camille said, yes, I finished my Coursera course on generative AI. Love it. I now use chat GPT at work as much as I can. Go, girl. Go, go, Camille. Go. I'm using what I'm learning. If I go to work tomorrow and they say goodbye, Camille. That's what, let me, where you at, Camille? Doggone, I'm going to throw this thing at you. Where you, where you go? I lost your comment. Where she at? Where she go? <laughs> Y'all look at this. Would you look at this? That's what Kevin Hart said. Look at this. She finished her course. She didn't start it and stop it. She didn't sit. Oh, I got to think about it. How many people I didn't talk to? Oh, I got to think about it, Kelly. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, you do. Well, what? How did? How does this compare to somebody else doing? I tell you what. <laughs> I tell you what. You go over there. When you go, you. I, this is what I think you should do. I think you should go over there. Right. This is this is what I think you should do. Right. Ain't nobody got time for that. You. I'm out here. I'm out here. Like I'm out here. Check me out. I got people in the comments. Check me out. But ain't no time. Ain't no time for him and and Han. I gotta think about it. I gotta check with so and so. You've been thinking about it. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. 
It's time to put on the big, the big pants, y'all. Camille ain't thinking about it. She finished it. And not only did she finish it, she said, Kelly, I'm using it. And guess what? If they step to me, I'm ready. Come on, Camille. Come on. He throw this at you. Ugh. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Stacey said it's happening now. That's right. That's right. Francine said, don't give up. Sandra said, that's true. Our organization has required us to complete. Y'all see this? Let me, let me go ahead. Let me, because y'all don't believe me. Y'all think I'm just out here. I don't know what y'all think I'm after. Because God got me. I don't know. Like, I don't know. But Sandra's saying that's true. Our organization has required, uh, required y'all, required us to complete leadership competency courses by the end of the year, which reminds me. <laughs> y'all, she didn't say they suggested. She didn't say, oh, here, this is for professional. It's a requirement, y'all. The companies are thinking, if you think they not because you don't know about it and you feel okay, remember the miners, they don't know what's happening up there. They just in survival mode, right? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right, y'all. That's right. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's look at this. Let's look at this, y'all, because I know we got, we got about 10 minutes. Let's, um, let's look at this. Now, this is on, um, this is on LinkedIn. And I love it. I just, I went deep in here. I went deep. So this is a poll, right? Let me make sure y'all can see it. This is a poll. This is on LinkedIn News. If y'all not following, this is where I get a lot of information. Some of my topics I get here too. So go ahead and follow if you can. Can y'all see it? Okay. Here's a poll. Remember, we just saw the news, right? And it said, it was an article. Here's another one. This is a poll. The resume isn't dead, but it's definitely evolving. Y'all see that right there? That's the message from experts thinking about how resumes will work in the future. Skills-based hiring and new screening tools mean that digital dossiers may replace traditional templates. Do you agree with these predictions? Now, I start going, 100 comments. This is what I'm talking about. John said, who looks at resumes? Nobody. Frankie said, I sure hope so. Stephanie said, death to the resume, right? Um, some of these people are just acting crazy, acting, acting, acting. Let me see. There was one in here. Okay, let's look at um, Maureen. She said, people thought LinkedIn would replace the resume, and yet the resume is alive and well. Until hiring managers find a product that replaces the resume, there will always be a place for them in the hiring process. This is more what Maureen says. Fabian says, humans do not like change, so the resume isn't going anywhere. James is retired, and he said, I think they will change as far as the information they provide. I would want to know more why an individual thinks they are qualified for a position, what skills they bring that may be transferable. Donald is a principal managing consultant and data scientist. He said, it's unclear if, how the resume will be utilized going forward and no doubt it'll evolve as it should, but the degree critically it will serve in Elucid, elucidating whether candidates possess the desired skills and capacity to infer if the hire is a good fit represents an opportunity for all organizations given the turnover, especially for this generation. Mark goes on to say, it seems that the drive these days is to make CVs a standard format, utilizing the same keywords and action points, removing the individual from the equation, so a lot of different comments, right? Um, I commented, but I can't find mine. It's, 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 it's in there. Aaron says, I hope so, please. This one, Daryl said, my resume has been collecting dust, I must say, for several years now. So yes, I do believe that the resume will be absolute, abso obsolete in the very near future. What do y'all think? Let me, let's do our poll. Y'all can check the, y'all want me to drop this link? Let me put it in comments for y'all, just in case you want to go back and read it. So this is a discussion that's happening, you all. I wanted us to talk about it. I don't want anything to surprise us. I'm do, I do my best to um, whatever's happening currently so that we stay relevant. The only thing I can't do, right? The only thing I can't do, though, is make you act upon what you're hearing. Again, we are in information overload. There isn't anything you can't find on the web, anything. 
ChatGPT is there. Google is there. Bard is there. Elon is coming up with his own chat. I mean, it's there if you want the information. The difference you're going to make in you obtaining and acquiring the success that you want is one, changing your mindset about what you know, unlearning some things and being open, which all of you are. I know I fuss a lot, but y'all wouldn't be here and y'all wouldn't keep coming back if you weren't open to change. And I do recognize and I know that. The other thing is, is putting into action what you know, whatever that may be, whatever that may be, right? So that, you know, this is a morbid kind of analogy, but like when you, I'll use my my dad, when he was, he was uh, dying of cancer, right? We knew it was coming. We knew it was coming, but we, you know, you can't prepare for it, right? I know that's a morbid kind of thing. But I'm, I'm to use that analogy, to me, that's how critical this is, though, right? It's, it's critical that you accept that things are changing. The world is evolving, every bit and every piece of it. And here's the thing, y'all, it's happening faster. I shared in the Discord on one of our conversations that I was reading this report from McKinsey, and they were talking about generative, somebody was mentioning on here, generative AI, and it's just going to, it's, it's, they thought 2025, y'all remember whoever's in the discord, I talked about it. They thought 2025 ish, 2026, 20, 2030, they like 2023, it's already happening. And lo and behold, y'all, things are moving that fast, really, really fast. So I guess I drove the point home. That's, that's what I wanted to do. And again, I don't ever want to, you know, do doom and gloom and fear. But, you know, in my talks with God, I'm like, okay, I know I have to say some things. You know, I think I would be doing you a disservice if I didn't share what I knew, right? Because it is, even though it's a lot of information, it's a lot of information to decipher sometimes, right? And if I, if I can find someone to tell me, like, you know, if I'm, I wanted to learn about so-and-so, right? I'm, I'm into boats now, right? And so I'm learning about boats. And so I'm following somebody that know about boats, right? I'm, in, I'm, I'm fascinated by them. And so I just let him tell me the information, right? So I don't have to go and dig and somebody I trust and I've been following, right? And so that's the thing. And we have to be willing to invest the time in the person or whomever or the information and whatever else, right? So that our learning curve, for a lot of us, we need to to shorten the learning curve, right? So that we can get the information that we need. What y'all saying? What y'all think? That's right. Camille said, um, <laughs> Janelle said, I'm still mad too. Um, Camille said, yes, if you want a different result, you have to do something. To, that's it. That's it. That's it. Thomas said, based upon discussion, plus I have been able, I plus I have been asked poll questions. Only, yeah, 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 yeah. Was this helpful, you all? Did you get something out of it? Give me a like if so. Share it if so, because everybody needs to hear, right? Everybody needs to hear with no agenda. Just this is what it is, right? This is what's happening. And if you if you uh, find yourself in um, a position where you you know there's more for you and you want more and maybe you don't know how and you're uncertain and maybe even a little scared, it's okay. Do it scared. Have the mindset. Okay, okay. All right. It's time. Like the guy was saying, I had to dust off. It's dusty. My resume just been sitting there. Right. Now, I will say that for uh, where are we now? 14th for um, Black Friday, I've decided that if you want to get an assessment of your resume and an assessment of your LinkedIn, I will do that as a courtesy. You just have to pay for the consultation and I will assess your resume for free. I'll give you some pointers, some tips. If that's something you know you need and you want, your LinkedIn profile, that's, that's something I'll go through each of them for you. We'll hop on a call and I will do that for you for free. Just pay for the consultation because the consultation is separate. I'm just being straight up, right? If you want you know, a strategy about, okay, what should I do next? That's the strategy. The other thing is you can get you know, your resume and all of that stuff done by somebody or do it yourself. The key is though, regardless of who does it or whatever, me or you or whomever, 
anyone. It's what to do with it that matters, right? You can go out and get, uh, you know, a get seeds to plant a garden or whatever, right? But if you don't know how to keep it warm and what kind of soil to use and how much water and get the plant or whatever, right? If I don't know how to do the thing, I can get it. It's cute. If I don't know how to take care of it, it's going to die. It's the same thing, y'all. It's the same thing. So what I've done, so let me be clear, because I know I put that out there. <laughs> what I've done, you can go to IamKellyJackson.com. It's the first link, because I already put it out there. I got seven people. It's a wait list, because I'm only going to do 20, because I'm going to do it the week of, uh, what is it, Thanksgiving. And I don't want to be doing it, you know, through the whole holiday. So I will do 20. I can do, you know, I can do like three or so a day. That's cool. I don't mind doing that. So if you join the wait list tomorrow, I will drop the link if that's something you want to do. And then I will, I will do 20. Right. And I, to be fair, I put uh 20 on there and I, I just had a, a wait list. Cause I think when I've done it before it is, you know, I have all these uh, emails and Somebody doesn't get it, and then somebody, you know, is upset. I sent my email at ten o'clock in the morning, and I sent mine at nine thirty, and, and I'm not looking at time, <laughs> so I'm just taking them as they come. So I got a wait list. If you know, I think it's seven people on there right now because I dropped the link. If that's something you want to do, go ahead, get on the wait list, and I think tomorrow I'll drop the link to. Um, so you can upload your, your resume. And also I'm going to ask you for your LinkedIn profile and then we'll actually get on a call and we'll walk through. I will assess and I will give you some like the value. Y'all know how we talk about how do I document my value? I've been doing this for 10, 20, 30 years, but I'm not sure how do I add value? How can a recruiter or decision maker see value? How can I talk to my current director or my leadership team? How can I talk about the value that I've brought to the company? Because I've been there for so long. And if I'm how do I know if I'm on this high potential list, right? Or how do I get on this high potential list, right? Right? Before performance reviews come in March, I want to talk about my value now because I don't want to get in here because by the time I get into the conversation about the, con it's already determined what I'm going to get. It's already determined the feedback. So right now, if I start having those conversations and now really spelling out my value, then that could be something that's top of mind for them when it comes to performance reviews or being on a high potential list or a promotion for 2024 or with the tight labor market, keeping me and maybe letting go of the person. I know they've been there for 30 years, even though I just got there for three years. I want them to see my value. That's what the consultation part of this is for. Right. Does that make sense? So these are the conversations is one thing to have the documents. You all it's another thing to know what to do with them. That makes sense. Y'all. It's I am Kelly Jackson. I'll drop it. I am Kelly Jackson.com. It's just the wait list. OK, I will drop the um, actual link to schedule again. It's 20. Right. I just think in all fairness and I know. You know, if I could do it for free, y'all know I would. But I know that some people are scheduled and won't show up. And somebody that really, Susan, may really want to talk about it. And somebody, some people are really serious about it. And it's only fair, right? But I know people pay, they pay attention, right? They're going to show up, okay? So just to be fair. But that's my my gift for um, Black Friday. Um, you're welcome, y'all welcome, y'all welcome. Yeah, Camille, I talked about it. For those that were late, you all. I made a mistake, Stace and uh, Camille, because I know y'all were on the call. You all, uh, Stacy, Camille, and John was on the call Thursday inside of Discord, and they gave me, they, they helped me uh, not walk off the ledge, <laughs> but they told me about, you guys know, last week I shared a little mishap that happened, and so my thought was, you know, maybe we shouldn't do this, but they were telling me not to do it and let's keep moving. And one monkey don't stop, no show all the things. What happened, Camille, was remember, I also shared with you that I had talked to support for Discord and they were telling me some of the ways that I could, you know, keep keep the things safe. What I forgot was they said for now we can um, they said disable, but doesn't mean it was closed, though. I forgot that I said, yeah, let's do that until we figured out because I knew I was going to have the conversation with y'all and I knew we were going to figure something out. I didn't realize that it it I can see it, but y'all can't see it, basically. So that's what it's not gone. It's not disappeared. It's just paused. That's all. OK. Yeah, here's the link here, y'all. I am. Let me put it up here. That way y'all can see it. Was this helpful? Did it, did it at least get you guys to think? What do you think? Y'all tell me. What did it make you think about some things? 
Biggest takeaway. We haven't done that in a while, y'all. What was your biggest takeaway? I know we're at the hour, top of the hour. What's your biggest takeaway? Let me see some um, biggest takeaway from tonight. Something that you think that you were thinking about. Um, I don't know where my thing at, y'all. Um, biggest takeaway. Let me see. Let me see, y'all. Let me see. Um, oh, here it is. Here is uh, where you go. It should be the first one, okay? Should be the first one. I am KellyJackson.com. Biggest takeaway. Let's see what y'all saying. Now, if you're on the, if you're watching the replay of this, uh, it's still, you know, just 20 only because I, I just want to give you feedback quickly. I want you to go into 2024 with a plan. I want you to have, if you get your, you know, the feedback for your documents, I want you to have that. I want everyone, if they want it, if they want to take action, here's an opportunity, right? So if you're watching the replay, still go to the link and see if there's available. Linton said, great info. Camille said, absolutely. You got it. You're welcome, Janelle. You're welcome, Stace. Biggest takeaways. Now I realize I have to get a dossier. <laughs> it's always something, right? It's always something. <laughs> it's always something. You're right. It's always something. It's always something. Hey, Suze, I got your um, email. That's what happened. That's what happened, Susan. So it's just pause for right now. Clifford, I see you. Do that include strategies for interviews or is that? A, no, once you uh, get the con consultation, whatever you want to talk about, you definitely can. We can. That's what that's for. I'm doing the other stuff for, for free as a compliment. Yeah, you can talk about whatever whatever you want. That's that's your time. That's your time. Yeah, whatever you want. So this is the wait list. Again, I'll drop the link to actually schedule. Again, it's just 20. I know I got seven people already on the wait list. So just so you know. Sanja said, yes, I really need to get started on using AI and chat GPT. It's a game changer. Yeah. Tom said, I'll be in, in touch real soon. Okay, Tom. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome, y'all. All right, y'all. Just remember, right? Don't let's just not keep our heads down. Let, hey, Jack. There you go. Jackie said, the value in unlearning. That's good. Jackie, I always got a word for her. That's good. That's good. Derek said, planning is good, but action is everything. Y'all, that's that's the differentiator. That's what's going to set you apart. Because I promise you, everybody at work, the things like uh, Clifford, you know, when we talk, the, the little bitty nuances, there's little bitty things. The two millimeter shifts that people take makes all the difference. It's like hanging a picture on the wall. It's just, oh, it's just crooked a little bit. But if you shift it just like it's perfect, it's perfect, right? Sometimes just knowing just that little bit thing, like that's what I've been missing. Somebody I remember one of my uh, clients said this whole time. And the only thing I told, I remember I was just like, that's it. But it's like what y'all do for a living, right? If y'all y'all were teaching me, you know, what you do. And I'm like, oh, I didn't know you did that. I didn't know that was what, but it was one little thing I told. He was like this whole time, this whole time. That's all I had to do. He remembered that out of our whole time together. <laughs> but sometimes that's that's what it takes, right? That's what it takes. That's what it takes. All right, y'all. As always, we got one more before Thanksgiving, right? Yeah. It comes so quick, right? It comes so quick, so quick, so quick. I hope this was helpful. Y'all give me some likes if you liked it. I appreciate it. Make sure you share this with your, your family, your friends, your coworkers, those that you like. <laughs> Let's help others because it comes back, you all. It comes back. It comes back. You never know. You never know, right? You'll be the person that they remember. Like I remember when, you know, you know, I remember when Linson sent me this lady's thing and she said something and I started to get on, on my game. And ever since then, it really changed. You know, I'm not looking for credit or anything, but little things that we do. Y'all know people like that. You remember a teacher from second grade. I remember that teacher. I'll never forget when they told me so and so. It's little things that you can do. You may not think that it's a, it's a big deal. You may not think it's a big deal, but you never know who's hurting or suffering in silence or just.